All gold jewelry and artifacts sold from April 1st, 2023 will now mandatorily carry a six-digit hallmark ID. The six-digit alphanumeric HUID hallmark jewelry has the benefit of being traceable. Every hallmark jewelry can be traced to the jeweler who has uh, hallmarked it. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of TUI Wallet Talks. Today we have with us Nidhi Khare. She is Additional Secretary at the Ministry of Consumer Affairs and she is going to help us understand the new gold hallmarking rules that are going to come into effect from April 1st. So ma'am, I want to understand from you is that what is HUID and why are we shifting from a four digit to a six digit number? Uh, HUID is the hallmarking unique identification number and uh, earlier the four digit uh, HUID mark only had the purity and the logo, uh, but it was not traceable. So it was important that every hallmark jewellery uh, should be traceable so that the consumer feels assurance of quality. Now, uh, the presently the HUID is actually a six digit alphanumeric uh, number, which is a unique number and it has the logo of PIS and then it also has the purity of gold. Uh, which means uh, it will be written 22 carat 916. So ma'am, what's in it for consumers and if I already have a four digit hallmarked jewellery or even a non-hallmarked jewellery, should I have a reason to worry? Uh, consumers who are having non-hallmarked jewellery or uh, the older hallmarked jewellery uh, need not worry at all. Actually, from the 1st April 2023, uh, this is going to be mandatory for the sale of uh, all uh, jewellery. The reason behind this is because uh, sale of two types of hallmark jewellery was creating a lot of confusion amongst the consumers and uh, the six digit alphanumeric HUID hallmark jewellery uh, has the benefit of being traceable. So which means every hallmark jewellery can be traced to the jeweller who has uh, hallmarked it and also to the assaying hallmarking centre. Okay, so that in any way ensures some authenticity of what the gold that you're buying? Correct. So it actually assures the consumer of the purity of gold that he's buying. And uh, that's the, the hallmarking stands as a guarantee of uh, quality to the consumer. So ma'am, uh, tell us a little more about the BIS Care app. Should consumers be downloading it before purchasing jewellery? Uh, what consumers should act actively do is to download the BIS Care app. If they have any issues, if they want to you know, verify whether their hallmark jewellery uh, is a genuine uh, jewellery or not, they can uh, type the alpha numeric uh, six digit code on the, uh, you know, on the app. It has a verify HUID uh, you know, uh, logo and you can click on that, it will open and you, then you can type your uh, six alpha uh, numeric digit on it. Once you type uh, that, you will get the entire details of the jeweler who got it uh, hallmarked, his registration number, then the assaying hallmarking center, uh, you know, the name and uh, their registration number and also the date of hallmarking, which was done, the type of jewelry on which this hallmarking has been uh, you know, uh, gotten done. So uh, essentially it is going to give the entire picture to the consumer uh, about the jewellery piece that he's buying. Uh, now any difference, you know, in the purity, if the consumer, you know, basically if he notices any discrepancy, then he can actually fight for his uh, right and uh, he can be compensated again uh, under the BIS Act. So ma'am, from the largest to the smallest retailer of gold, how are we ensuring implementation of this new hallmarking rule from April 1? Uh, that's a very good question. Actually, uh, you'll be surprised to know that more than 90% of all jewellery which is being sold is actually hallmarked. And at present, about 17 crores, more than 17 crore uh, gold jewellery and artifacts uh, have got uh, hallmarked. More than 1.5 lakh uh, jewellers have got uh, themselves registered under this. Also, uh, the hallmarking centres uh, has also increased and it is almost touching 1400 
across the country. Right. So uh, the the question is uh, that uh, it has become mandatory in a few districts, uh, which is about 300 and odd districts. But uh, what is important is that since most of the jewelry manufacturing is happening at uh, you know uh, certain se uh, sectors, those uh, jewelry manufacturing hubs are already getting every article hallmarked. Right. So in a sense, uh, even in those dis districts where it is not mandatory, uh, because of a very heavy demand from the consumer, there are jewelers who have voluntarily taken uh, registration under the scheme right. and they are also uh, selling hallmark jewelry there. If I am buying gold and I am at a jeweler's shop and I can see a hallmark ID there, I can just put that data in the BIS app and it Correct. will show me the authenticity and then I can make that decision in form Correct. decision of purchasing. Yes, yes. Okay. You can see whether this is, uh, you know, uh, and I hope it is not duplicate. So they can see the genuineness of the HUID mark and uh, as long as they can keep it, if they want to, you know, sell it off at some other point of time, then they will uh, know exactly the purity of gold. Today, what was happening was consumers were getting cheated before we brought, uh, you know, this uh, six alphanumeric uh, HUID because uh, they were being, uh, you know, they were uh, sold um, a 22 carat piece. But in uh, effect, it was only a 14 carat, uh, right. you know, gold. So there was this uh, lot of dissatisfaction amongst the consumers. So how does India compare when it comes to gold retailing with -vis the international best practices? Uh, you'll be surprised to know that uh, although hallmarking started in uh, UK, uh, but I, uh, the kind of uh, system that we have put in place is absolutely by far the best uh, right. in the world. And uh, you must have uh, noticed that we also started with hallmarking uh, in the year 2000. So it has also taken us, you know, almost 20 years uh, to uh, establish systems so that it is fair across the jewelers, across the consumers and uh, the assaying hallmarking centers.